Hi and welcome to All About Podcast. My name is Ferrante. Uh, if you're a podcaster who uses Libsyn as your media host and you have a WordPress site, then you are up for an early treat from Libsyn. Now, Libsyn just came up with the long-awaited WordPress plugin that will make blogging and podcasting easier, seamless, and hassle-free. The plugin is currently in its public beta, and so far it only has about 30 installs, so it's really fresh of the developer's oven, all right? So what I'm going to do today in this video is I'm going to install the plugin and show you the whole process of installing and configuring it. I'm going to make use of my website as a guinea pig, and we're going to do it all the way. Now, there are a couple of pre-installation nodes, and uh, one of that, first of that, is there may be bugs. And I think it's very reasonable because this is the first version, so definitely they were not able to really uh, uh, you know, polish it to perfection. So since this one's in public beta, I assume that that will be very reasonable for them to say that uh, there may be bugs. So it's, it's just a possibility. And another thing is, it was also noted that the plugin will not work with other podcast publishing plugins enabled. So um, you have to be sure that you'll disable them if you have one currently installed before proceeding with the installation of the Libsyn plugin. You also need to have a Libsyn hosting account, obviously, of course, and you will also need a PHP 5.3 version or higher. Now, once you have all those checked, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and proceed with the actual installation. So first, we have to log in to our Libsyn account, which I have already done. So what we're going to do next is to click on the green drop-down arrow right beside your display name. And for me, that's AAP Podcast. So I'll just click on that one. And you will notice that there is a new item in there, which is Manage WordPress Plugins. Click on that. Okay. So what we have here is we do have the WordPress plugin. What we're going to do is we're going to click on add new WordPress plugin. The application name, I'll just have that as Libsyn WordPress plugin. And I'm going to put it on my allaboutpodcast.com website. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit save. All right, so we do have the client ID, the client secret, and the web domain. So you just have to make sure that you keep all those information secure. Now, since we have already set up the one on Libsyn, what we're going to do is we'll go to the uh, WordPress side and I'll go ahead and split my screen. And there you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the plugin. So I don't have the plugin installed yet. I'll go ahead and click Add New. Well, you can also download the uh, plugin itself from the WordPress plugin directory, or you can actually just do it straight from your um, admin dashboard on your website. So we'll just go ahead and search for Libsyn hit enter and just click on install ok 
Okay, I'll go ahead and activate the plugin. Okay, now let me just have that in full screen. Okay, as you can see, there you will see that there will be a new entry on your sidebar, and that's Libsyn Podcasting. We'll go ahead and click on Libsyn Podcasting. And here we're going to fill out the uh, client ID that we have. Let's copy and paste. And then the client secret. And then we'll go ahead and s hit save changes. Okay, now from there, we'll go ahead and log into. and just click on yes okay so we do have the show pre-selected already since i only have one right now under that hosting account so I'll go ahead and hit save changes okay so you can also configure your player settings now um some of you may probably be using a different player so I'm not sure how would that be but basically uh, you can already make use of the uh, Libsyn player and the good thing is you wouldn't have to you know copy and paste and copy and paste all those descriptions and uh, the uh, file URL that you have so this will all be created right from your WordPress dashboard. So I'll go ahead and have this in maximized view. I'm going to click on add new posts and we'll see what happens. We'll see what was added or if there are any changes with the design or with the layout. Okay. So you will see right here that there is a new button uh, that came up and it's the Libsyn player settings. And if you scroll down, you will also see another section that's similar with Blueberry PowerPress where you can actually configure your post. And from here, you can go ahead and click on the post libs and episode okay so you can choose to upload your media or you can select from within your wordpress media or you can select from an unreleased episode or unreleased audio or unreleased file on your libs and account for the media URL, I believe this is similar to if you are actually making use of a different one. Well, if you have, say, for example, Dropbox and you'd like to uh, use that, let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to have that as a test category episode. Let me just put it as a general. Okay, so there's also an episode thumbnail. If you'd like to change, you know, if you'd like to have different thumbnails for each episode. So I'll put that as clean. And I'll leave that for the TV rating. Okay, I'll just 
generate a dummy content. Okay, so that's how it looks like once you uh, hit publish. Now let's go ahead and check out our Libsyn account. What happened and see what happened if there was. Okay, there you go. So it did update and uploaded those details into your Libsyn account. Alright, so there you go. That's the whole process on how you're going to install and configure your Libsyn podcasting plugin for WordPress. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, All About Podcasts. And if you have any podcasting needs like audio editing, setup, transcription, please feel free to visit allaboutpodcast.com and check out our services section. Thank you, and you have an awesome day.